Hello. Morning. <laughs> Is it morning? Just. Oh, yes. And we were up quite early as well, weren't we? It's just typical of us. Well, we had a lot of jobs to do and um, I was uploading a vlog last night. Got up this morning, it was on 1%, so I had to sort that out. We've got new microphones to set up, um, new filters to set up, and I've painted down the side of the boat this morning. What's oh. it called? That's straight <coughs> or straight? Straight, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. We're excited. We've waited two years to get onto the Clang Lachlan Canal. I can just about say it after two years of practicing. <laughs> and the filling that you just had the other day when oh, you mouth. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we've moored here for a couple of days. The internet's a bit pants, but it was handy because it's about 20 minutes to Hurliston Locks to get onto the Clang Lachlan Canal. And we're at the moment, we're on the Shop Union, aren't we? Yeah. So we're near Barbara Jane. Yeah. Um, we stayed, we were here three nights, two. I don't know, Anthony. I lose I count. More exciting. <laughs> I'm off for 12 days now from work, which is just fabulous. Yeah. Well, we're hoping to get to Renbury today. It's about a five hour journey, if we can do it. Yeah. Heidi was there, but I think she may have moved on by now. Yeah. Um, we may stop before that if the weather changes because it doesn't look promising, does it? No, it's like a, it, it looks like it's going to be a big vloggers convention on the Clang Lachlan. When we've spoken to other vloggers, there a lot of people seem to be headed up that way. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of it's because of all the closures and because you know there's, the water levels aren't going to drop down there and there's a flow so it's not going to freeze. No. Um, but we have to be off by January, don't we, anyway? Yeah, there's closures early in January so we'd have to get off by then. Yeah. It may be too far to commute. I, I need, to, yeah. need to check. If it's not, then we're going to stay on there, we think, for most of winter. Oh, that'd be fabulous. It'd be a long journey to work, but it may be worth it. Everyone yeah. says it's beautiful. Well, we'll, we'll see. I'll go down to two days anyway. Yeah. I don't know if I've told you. <laughs> yeah. Well, the um, the weather isn't fantastic, but we're hoping that the colours on the trees are over the next couple of weeks. We're dead excited. Everything's charged. The drones are charged. The batteries are charged for the cameras. All the flashcards are free. Can't wait to get going. It's been our highlight, isn't it? That's been what we've been really looking forward to, like the colours on the Clang Auckland. Yeah. Because um, we absolutely love autumn and we can't wait to share it. Yeah. Ah, Dexter's with us. He's pacing about. Yeah. We'd be <laughs> better get his harness on. We'd better get cracking. Enjoy the journey. Boats waving at us, we think we know them. What's the name of the boat, Anthony? I'm not saying c it's taking the mickey. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you've got better eyesight than I have. It's Kenakoon or something, I think. Kenakoon? I don't know, something like that. Yeah. Pass me those tyres when you got a second, please. Hey, boys. You alright? How are you? <coughs> Hello, you alright? Yeah, good, are you? Where are you off to? You've got 12 days off work. Oh, that's good. Especially if I'm holding. Just watch Anthony going into this first lock. There's your blacking gun, Paul. That's great, you know. <laughs> What's that? We should have in the middle of the canal. Yeah, that's what I did today. <laughs> I knew I couldn't go off then, could I? No. There are volunteer lock keepers on this set of locks and usually there till the end of October. These four locks at Hurliston were opened in 1805 and built by the famous canal engineers John Fletcher and Thomas Telford. The combined rise of the four locks is 10.4 metres or just over 34 feet.
There's a waste disposal point just here on the left and just a bit further up there are water points. Right, we're just filling with water and then we're getting rid of our rubbish. Dexter's enjoying it, aren't you lad? We had a little stop for lunch. We did? I've got a headache. Oh, you're such a drama queen. I hit my head on the steel door, fast in my life. <laughs> Seeing stars, probably couldn't cost by the end of the day. That's the spirit. That was a lovely spot, wasn't it? Yeah. 48 hours max. Who's max? Do you think we can stay longer than max? I don't know. I think I've had too much Coca Cola. <laughs> Other brands are available. It was actually Pepsi Max. Was it? Oh yeah. Uh -huh, yeah, Pepsi Max. Other brands are available. <laughs> oh, here comes our mate Dexter. Oh. Come on lad, take your time. He was all settled as well as his bed, wasn't he? But he didn't like being on his own. No. <laughs> He's come up to see what's going on. Where are we going? The view always looks the same when you look sideways on a canal, doesn't it? Just a total path of some trees. <laughs> oh, sun's out again. Crazy, isn't it? Crazy day. Even Jeff from CRT said, I don't know what's put on today. It's warm and it's chilly and it's sunny and it's raining. Very British weather. We couldn't believe that so far all the locks had been set in our favour. We love it when this happens. We're having a lovely day so far, but all that is about to change. To be fair to Anthony, the wash is really fierce and it did catch me out on the way back. Oh, 
the lantern, he's just opened this swing bridge, automated, and we're by the Dusty Miller. I should look what I'm doing, but that looks very nice, dog friendly, and they do food. Well, it's done a little bit of raining in the night, look at this. I think we're walking through a river. I'd say I'm going to get one over, quick. <laughs> oh. How deep is it? And I've got actually got wellies on, so I could just walk in. <laughs> Step in and find out. <laughs> We're going for a lovely walk into Rembury village I mean, and through the village to the park. Apparently there's a cafe there, it looks very nice. We're not sure if it's dog friendly, but it does look like it has outdoor seating. Yeah, it's a lovely little village, Rembury, some nice houses, lovely little church, post office and a general store. How nice is that? We've got our friends Fiona and Jude from Fettler's Wharf behind us, who have come down for my birthday. And uh, yeah, I need coffee and cake. <laughs> Well, I've gone for my favourite, Eggs Benedict. Mm, lovely. Oh, look at these, how delicious. So, jammy dodger, milky bar, mummy blondies. I think I'm going for this white chop and raspberry. Oh my god, look at that. It is my birthday. So. Oh, we need to get red, red jackets. How photogenic are they? This is now our garden. How lovely is this? Can't believe it's nearly November. It's about 17 degrees today. I hope it stays like this through the winter. It'd be amazing. Just had a lovely lunch and lovely coffee and cake. Thanks to Fiona and Jude treating us for my birthday. That was nice. It was nice. The yeah. staff were lovely as well. Yeah, you were very nice. Really welcoming. Yeah. I told them you weren't allowed in, but Dexter was. <laughs> she was laughing. <laughs> Come on, lad. I'm so glad it stopped raining. It's a stunning day. Dexter's enjoying it as well. You're right. <laughs> You're I was going to say morning, but it's like in typical fashion. I think we're just in morning. We're setting off at about midday. We'll never learn. Yeah, well, we walked to the local post office. There's a bit of a queue on because of a strike tomorrow. I had artwork to send off. Oh, is that why? Yeah. I thought you were ages. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, and it's coming up to Christmas. <laughs> Get lost. <laughs> well, the ads. They had um, nativity know, stuff, too early. Yeah, in the shop. Anyway, you may be wondering why we didn't finish filming the other day when we got through Hurlaston Locks and carried on. It absolutely opened oh, the heavens, didn't down. it? Yeah. Yeah. And we had a bit of a bump in a boat and we had a bit of an argument about it. <laughs> but less said about that for better. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, we've, we've been in Renbury. We're by Renbury Lift Bridge number 20, which is by the Dusty Miller. Yeah, so Is we had right? a meal in there, didn't we? Um, really nice. But then it's a bit bizarre because the food times, like last night, they weren't doing food. Sunday, they finished serving at four o'clock. It's really odd. Yeah. Um, but they do takeout, but it's quite a limited menu. Yeah. Um, but if you can go when they're serving normally, the food was delicious and the staff were really nice. Yeah, the staff that were there on what day did we arrive? Monday? Oh no, Saturday. Saturday. Sat oh, <laughs> no, it was Friday. Yeah, Friday. Let's get our facts right. So we arrived on Friday. Guess who was moored here? Heidi, the pirate oh, yeah. boat. Yeah, I forgot and we've been out so, with Heidi. Yeah, she was already cooking a dinner. She's very organised. <coughs> we decided to get our dinner. Hang on. <coughs> we decided to get our dinner and she came and joined us for a drink. I think she just she? give your throat a rest. I know, I'm choking. <laughs> coffee McCoffee. <at> <laughs> well, I've only had one magic show at the weekend. They were absolutely amazing audience. So nice, the kids and the adults. And then yesterday was my birthday. Fiona and Jude came to see us. We've discovered a really nice little coffee shop. Again, the staff were just amazing, yeah. weren't they? Really nice. And about, the yeah, sorry. The food was real nice, the coffee was delicious. Yeah, I was going to say, it was about a 15 minute walk from the canal. 
So straight through Renbury Village, past the post office, which is handy, and the little store there. Um, and we had a gorgeous walk back. Oh, big thank you to Howard as well, because Howard's offered to, even though the lock keepers finish in, I think it's next week. Yeah. Um, he did say, if we give him a shout when we're going down, he'll come and help us with the locks. Um, Howard's one of the volunteers. So big thank you to Howard as well. We'll give you, we will give you a shout, it'll be really helpful, thank you. Yeah, and thank you for all the birthday wishes as well, it was really nice. Well, the plan is today to head towards Grindley Brook Locks, isn't it? <coughs> yeah, we may go through them, it depends how soon we get there, because yeah. I think it worked out it's about four hours, which yeah. probably is the most we like to travel before we start bickering. Yeah, we get <laughs> so... tired and ratty after five hours. <coughs> yeah, well you do. It's a long day. I just put up with it, yeah. long-suffering husband. <laughs> Um, anyway, we're heading towards Whitchurch, that's the direction we're going in. We didn't realise how long this canal was. It's 46 miles, is it? 48, I think it said. Yeah, we should put that fact yeah. up here. I, um, I don't know whether we'll actually complete it, because I've only got 12 days off, unless we move every day, I think, and we do le more than four hours, then yeah. we're not, we're not going to do the whole thing, because I've worked out the commute is quite far, yeah. uh, except from here, which is about an hour, which is doable. <laughs> Anyway, uh, before this goes on for an epic hour, we just want to say a very big thank you to all our YouTube members. Uh, if you've not checked out YouTube membership where you get special badges and you, your badge comes up against your comments on our YouTube videos and you get extra behind the scenes photos and videos. And also our patrons and the people who have bought us a coffee because oh yeah, that helps so pay for this equipment. It did. It? Yeah, yeah. We, we try and reinvest what we get back into the channel um, and one of the big biggest things people were saying was the engine noise and our not being able to hear us yeah so we we did reinvest and we bought some mics so hopefully you can hear us a lot better yeah so a big thank you to everybody that yep. supports the channel and don't forget if you've not already subscribed please hit that bell icon for notifications so you don't miss any future videos and please subscribe to the channel yep. right we shall start the engine and we shall crack on dexter's getting impatient wondering what's going on hopefully Let's some really it. nice awesome colors yeah oh yeah some the colors were stunning yesterday yeah. we've got a few lift bridges to get through today haven't we we have i believe this one's already lifted up though and yeah. left like that for the um why the garden, garden center closed right <coughs> wish us luck enjoy the journey Well, the weather forecast for today is 14 degrees Celsius, cloudy, with a light chance of rain. I don't think it was a light chance, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's it, a high chance. It's actually raining <coughs> now, we've just set off. I think we just need to get up and set off from now on. The leaves are falling out of the trees. I love these lift bridges, especially when they're surrounded by autumnal looking trees with stunning colours on. And especially when they're already lifted up for you, yeah. you mess with them. Oh yeah, that's a nice sight. Colours are stunning, aren't they? from Anthony so he could have his cup of coffee. Didn't pay attention to where the boat was when I took the tiller off him. 
didn't realise how close we were to the side and I've snapped the rope to the fender because it caught on the arm co and it's just reattaching the rope. You get your coffee and uh, I'll take over oh, again. I know how that goes. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'm trying to wash my hands first. Wow, this is fierce. We had a lovely chat with this viewer of the channel who was travelling with her husband in the opposite direction. Yes, that was Quaisley Lock that we've just come out of. We've left it open because there's a boat approaching. Good timing on their behalf. Do you want to tidy your stern? What? Do you want to tidy that stern up? Why we're filming? <laughs> Come on then. Come on. Come on. It's been a long day so far and we were enjoying it. We were tired, but how could you not enjoy it when the weather was like this? The 
Some of these bywashes were so fierce. Just look at this. Uh, just get your back end out. Yeah, now back end out. That way. Straighten up. Bit more. <laughs> no idea what you did really well there, Anthony. Yeah, really fierce. Oh. He did really well getting in there because that was fierce. He's in, let's go and close the gates. Just look at that beautiful lone oak tree. I don't think there's any sight better. Well, we've just found out that the locks are set in our favour. We're hoping that the volunteer lock keepers are still on. That'd be amazing if they are. It's another one of those perfect days, isn't it? Bottom lock empty, middle lock full, top lock full. Here we are. First lock set in our favour. Are we okay to go straight in? Brilliant, thank you. Grinley Brook Staircase usually has volunteer lock keepers on duty from 8.30am till 6.30pm from April to October and we were so grateful for the help. And these last three locks have a rise of just over 19 feet. Tools are good. Yes, yeah. 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 Oh, so a big thank you to Judith and Graham for the help on the staircase lock. It is Graham, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. We'd had a brilliant day and it was started to get dark so we filled with water, got rid of our rubbish and travelled on just a mile or so towards Whitchurch. Get us in the bull's head, playing dominoes. Why are we in the bull's head playing dominoes? Wait for a curry Indian table. We're waiting for a curry. And we had food in the fridge, didn't we? No, we didn't. We did? Come on. Steak? But we can keep that. Oh, yeah. This is our anniversary present from my mum. You had it in your head that you wanted to. I did, but we also had money from my mum for yeah. anniversary, so. Yeah, so we walked into town thinking it was a 10, 15 minute walk, which is what somebody told us. No, 25 minute walk. Found a dog friendly pub, ordered our curry, we're going to have it delivered to the pub, then walk back to the boat, which will be 25 minutes, which then means we'll have to put it in the oven to warm up, which means we may as well just cook a meal tonight. <laughs> Who would have been cooking it? You. Oh, exactly. I've got work today. How's that for? But while you were cooking it, I could be doing my work. Um, I'm on the holiday. <laughs> And I've just walked up to the bar and asked this lady if there's any water for the dog. She said, I don't work here. We've got our curry. Who won at Domino's? Me! Mm. <laughs> Why yeah. the so red? It was quite warm in that pub. It's because we're under an amber light. Anyway, we'll, we enjoyed that game of Domino's and a drink. We don't we normally do that in yeah. the pub, do we? Dex is dead keen because oh, he just wanted yeah, to lay in front of the fire. Yeah. Bless him. <sighs> I hope breath. it's still lit. Yeah, so we're going to walk. Um, back well, to the boat. The apparently 15 minutes, it's a good 25 minutes. Yeah, let's time it, let's time it. How lovely. We just asked somebody for directions. Because we're a bit lost. We're a bit lost. Um, coming back with a curry. And they, he was like, do you want me to give you a lift? He's like, are you sure? We've got a dog, we've got curry. He's like, no, no, I'll get in. So it saved us a good 20 minutes. 
And I think Dexter was really appreciative of it as well. Yeah, he jumped straight on my lap and put his head on my knee but he went to sleep. But yeah, he's now stood here with his yeah. paw up because he's I had a walk. Know. He deserves a treat, don't we? Dexter? And we're waiting uh, for, our for our curry. <sighs> I hope it was worth it after all. Amazing. <laughs> well, we know it is because we've had it before, haven't we? Yeah. So, good night. Yeah. See you soon. Good night. See you.